Today we're talking about the ICMCI 2020 Onwards Task Force and uh, we have here our uh, chair of the task force, uh, Kun Sak, our colleague who is the chair of IMC uh, Thailand. So, um, so Sak, uh, give us a bit of an insight into, uh, into the work of your task force. Thank you very much, the, the voice. Um, I think the, uh, our task force uh, we we starting off and uh, uh, kicking off our project on the 23rd of uh, June uh, this year. So now it's around about three months that we've been working on. And I think the major part of this task force is that basically the situation of the world is totally changing and the uh, and and changing in in a big way, where basically the uh, uh, that we are facing not only the uh, the COVID or the pandemic, but basically it's many other things that are coming basically <clears throat> to the situation at the same time. You know, like we have the trade war that basically is going on. We have the technology, you know, that's basically the big disruptive that's going on. Then we have the big data that they're fighting. Everybody try to grab the data. We have the currency situation where basically if a lot of people are attacking the US dollar and that is going to be impact in all the economy. And then we still have, you know, the very uh, threat of the uh, weapon war that is going around in Asia here. So basically, among all this disruptive, and basically we have big realization hitting uh, uh, because of itself, e uh, economic itself, plus we have this, uh, the, uh, uh, the COVID situation coming on, on the top of it. So a lot of the business is already in a very big problem and situation. So these are the key where uh, in the beginning we're looking at that we might just want to do a, basically a global platform. But since we're starting uh, on uh, this task force, um, I think until now is about three months. Uh, we done the first country is Singapore and the latest country is Australia. This is last week. Mm -hmm. So totally we have uh, uh, done this brainstorming session until the 15th of September, totally 22 session. In this 22 session, it's 20 countries plus two committees, which is basically the uh, AI and also the membership committees. And, the, uh, and I can say during those 22 meetings uh, during last three months, and, the, uh, and again, I think the, uh, the team, the, the team of the task force, basically really working uh, very well. And I think everybody have a lot of passion working on this project. Um, we learn a lot and the, uh, we learn a lot and the, uh, from all the IMC around the world of those 20 countries that we talk with. And there's a lot of interesting uh, takeaway that we, uh, we together basically uh, 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 absorb and learn, all right? The, uh, it's a lot of learning from them, gathering a lot of information, and basically, hopefully, at the end of the day, we are synthesis all this information and come up with a strategy. How do we move forward? But the interesting thing is that, I would say most of the country, more than maybe 85, 90% are very anxious to talk and share their basically the, the pain point, the thing that they're doing, and they are very happy during this COVID situation that someone really sit down, listen to them for one hour, chat with them, share with them all kinds of pain points. So I think that it's really a good move that I think we, we work on this one. And the, um, normally when we do this um, brainstorming session, there are two major parts that we do. One, one part is a discovering session. That is much, much more on, we are understanding the present situation of the country. We understand the present of basically the institute, you know, of IMC. We are understanding the, the, uh, the structure basically of the entity and the membership structure, your that normal training program and also their business model, how do they make money? All right, does that will be, Normally a quick session that we understand. So they just run us through. So we know, we know pretty much how old are they, how many members they got and all these things and what kind of situation they are in at the present situation. 
And then we also, and we learn, you know, what, how is the, you know, last three years, is the member going up, is the member going down? Is normally the member paying the membership fee or not? They're paying membership fee. Are they losing or they're gaining? So we're seeing all those things, right? Also understanding the country that have government support, the country that have compulsory with the government, or the, the country that they have stand, stand alone on their own, that they have to fight through their own situation, which is a very different situation. And, and we see the membership of the country where they have, you know, maybe 20, 30 members, and some country have, you know, 10,000 members. So we can see all those different mm -hmm. things, right? So it's a very interesting for me. And the second session that we do is we learn, we, 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 this is the big session we do about the brainstorming. Basically, how is, how is that plan to moving forward? What can we do together as the IMCI? What can we do to support them? And it's a collaboration, you know, that we can do together among the 50 countries. So this is a very interesting, and there's a lot of good idea coming out. So I would say in the last, basically the 22 session, I think we all learned together a lot. And I think that we, we get a lot of good information that I think it could be a very good use for basically uh, ICMCI as a whole, that what shall we do as a strategic uh, 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 design that we should move forward. One thing for sure, uh, uh, thing is not the same. And one thing for sure, the consulting management, it won't be the same situation. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of change coming in through. So that would be my first quick summary uh, device. Well, excellent. Um, you gave us a good insight into uh, the work of the task force and uh, the process for the meetings and some of your high level findings. So that, <laughs> that's, that's amazing. Uh, what do you see as the timeline for, for the results? When, when do you think your uh, report is planned to be ready? Well, basically, uh, uh, you know, I just give you a little bit more, basically, uh, before I get into uh, answer mm -hmm. to, to that question. Uh, basically, uh, uh, before we get to that, just for this, uh, I think we are not halfway yet. I think we are half, mm -hmm. maybe uh, four, 40% of the way, all right? Because we still have 30 countries more to go and a few more uh, uh, committees. So we find a lot of, uh, 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 I hope, otherwise, uh, 30 country more, plus the, uh, a few more of the, uh, our committee. Mm -hmm. I hope we can finish all this within maybe the end of the year, so, right? So that is what our target is all about. Mm -hmm. So I think that we try to, you know, and that's why one week, sometime one day we do, now not three, four, all right? So right. I think that's a very interesting part, right? And, the, uh, and I just, just want to share quickly about basically what, if, if you want it, why is you know what what do we find out and sure and uh, just overview all right but this is not conclusion this is only halfway through but okay. it's a lot of information but if you ask me when is going to be the our uh, finishing line I think that I hope we can finalize the uh, conclusion of the uh, uh, the discovery and brainstorming uh, by the end of this year then mm -hmm. after that we start basically pulling the plan together and come up with a strategic and proposal to the board. Excellent, yeah. Thank you. Um, this, is, uh, this has been a, a very good overview. I, um, as, as chair of ICMCI, uh, as you know, I've been a great fan of this project and I'm grateful that you've uh, taken the lead on this as the chair. And I've also been receiving very good uh, feedback from, uh, from the institutes that they want to participate and see this as a good initiative. So, so thank you very much. Um, any uh, any concluding thoughts uh, for delegates? Well, basically, uh, just uh, a quick sharing uh, 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 with everyone that basically uh, everyone talk and they're facing very similar situation. Even you know we talk about North America, Europe, Southeast Asia, you know, <laughs> in every area in this, and the uh, cost, you know. So we can see this in a lot of different area. Uh, where that we are spread around, you know, a different part of the world, and the uh, and and and, but we are facing very similar situation. The uh, basically economic is very bad. Mm -hmm. Company uh, business is closing down. A lot of company under rehabilitation, bankruptcy. Basically, the cash flow is shorted. Uh, the uh, the hospitality business is very difficult. 
you talk about airlines and hotels and anything that relating to traveling is very bad. Okay. So, and, and then basically the demand is really dropping. Okay. And the, uh, uh, and again, but the economy is also in the situation, what we call like K strategy. It means with a K, you mean one leg going up and one leg coming down. Mm -hmm. So there are a few businesses still, you know, moving on. Basically anything that's online, you know, logistic and all these things, you know, it's, it's moving. But a lot of them is going down, right? So it's a very interesting and and the uh, and I think it's a very important part that basically the uh, uh, consultant management need to um, I would say the developing themselves, okay, and the uh, uh, to cope with the change of the business because the business uh, 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 people looking for a different uh, uh, solution from a consultant. You know, uh, not so much they're looking for like, a, you know, productivity, productivity improvement and, you know, how can, it's not about the refining thing at all, you know, it's about the surviving, right. turn around, restructure, you know, how do you survive? How are you changing the mode from the business? Because the, the problem is being, first, it's become the big unknown situation when this thing is going to be finished. Secondly, basically, it's attack uh, into all area and disruptive in all area. Which is mean that they really need a good consultant because they themselves facing a big challenge every day, right? So basically, and, and a lot of managers lose job. And that is mean a lot of them want to become consultant as well. So it's opportunity <laughs> inside, it's opportunity inside the threat, right? So it's a very important part. But very interesting that we can see that many of the IMC are having the revenue problem. They don't, they're not, they're finding the way to make enough money, which main of the, the major of their income is always come from two major points. One is membership fee and one is training. Okay. And, and different countries have different methods, but basically, and, but a lot of them, they have a hard time to survive. And that is very, very important part. The second point is that basically the, the, the membership is decreasing, is declining. Either they are stable or they decline. Only a very small number of the country that their member is increased, all right? So that is also a very, very important point that we have to find a solution for that part to help them. The third is that the membership is edged, you know, it's become an old man club, you know, <laughs> and, the, uh, 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 and, and many of the, uh, well, and they retire. When they retire, they lose members, all right? Mm -hmm. And the young generation, many times, many countries don't have to be able to recruit a new generation. And yet, the new uh, paradigm of the business, they need a younger generation consult because of its technology, IT, uh, digital transformation. So it's been, it's a very important part that we're looking for a good st uh, strategy for how can we recruit a new young consultant, but add on and, and, and the, uh, the, the experience and let them go out and help the, country, uh, the company. So this is a very interesting part. And the uh, uh, and maybe the last point would be the value proposition that many time that basically uh, uh, we got to find a way that if the people said okay they become the, our uh, CMC member basically what added value that, that we can really give to to those people can they get a bit, bit better business can they get a bigger business or they can get a better prices these are all the challenges that basically we walk through with all those areas, which I think is a lot of the uh, recommendation that basically we get out from all those 20 pass through meeting, right? I got a good uh, accumulated 10 global idea recommended, which I think a lot of them are fantastic. Mm -hmm. And we also got a, about nine good recommend, lo local recommended idea where the country should do by themselves. Mm -hmm. So basically it's half and half about mm -hmm. half that they, they, that the global can help to do a lot of different things. And as a 10 is about the local or nine, about the local can do by themselves. But this basically, so I'm thinking that I'm very anxious to, to do the rest of the 30. I think we, I hopefully is add on the list, but after the 15 of the country, the number are start repeating. Okay, all the recommendations are starting to become the of same. Course, yeah. And the, uh, so it's very good. This means we have the same problem. We have 
really quite the same situation. So it's, it's become very, very interesting. So uh, the way I hope that this uh, energy that, you know, uh, we all put in, including yourself, that really devoting your time to, you know, joining most of these, our session, mm -hmm. it will come at the end of the day that could help ICMCI to support the IMC, IMC and the IMC could basically also do something by themselves to support their own members. So it's making our total institutes of the global ICMCI become stronger. Right. So this is my best wish. And it's uh, something that I'm looking forward to, to do it. It's a lot of work, but I think enjoying it every day. Wonderful. Thank you very much for that. We've, uh, we've run out of time, but uh, uh, thank you for that overview. I have attended most of the meetings and, and I am finding it very informative, I agree. And uh, I know the delegates are looking forward to uh, the report of this task force. So thank you for joining us today and, and giving them this insight. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.